Oh, so, take a seat. Alrighty. <laughs> so, hello, and here we are again with Paris White. Yes. The How one are and you, only. Paris? <laughs> oh, I'm doing so good. It is so yeah. beautiful out here. Yeah, mm. we are actually in Chatsworth, which is like the world capital of porn. Really? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? <laughs> no, I've been here oh, three years in the industry. Yeah, no. I mean, it's not as much as it used to be back in the days when everybody had like big warehouses with DVD oh, yeah. and VHS. Almost all of them were here in, in Chatsburg. Wow, fun fact, you learn something every day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, it used to be very cheap land here, that's why uh, it's not like that anymore. But uh, <laughs> I was gonna say. back in the days, there was like just orange groves and then, wow. uh, yeah. yeah. Nice and quiet, right? So they yeah. could shoot porn all day. Not <laughs> only, but also the, the it was cheap to build big warehouses. Relatively mm. cheap. Nice. Huh. Didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so let's ask a few questions. First, we introduce you. Mm. So, Paris White, where are you from? I'm from Montana, actually. Oh. Yeah, way up north, right by Canada. Okay, I've never been there, but I saw pictures and it looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. It was such a cool childhood to grow up yeah. in Montana. Have Amazing. you been horse riding? and, and, and Oh, okay. yes, we've done everything. We don't ride our horses to school anymore, but that was a <laughs> senior prank in the state of Montana. Yeah. If you ride your horse to school, they have to take care of it. Like it oh, is really? in the law that the principal or like whoever runs the school mm -hmm. has to take care of it. So for a senior prank... Like, there's like four of us, not me, but four people who had horses, mm -hmm. rode them to school, and I shit you not, the principal had to take care of them all day, and so they just like tied them up on the, like the football post, yeah. and just kind of sat there all day, and every, it was such a fun riot, like, ugh. Oh. Good, great senior prank, right? Cool. Uh, I have the camera very far away, and so I'm recording the sound here. Uh -huh. But you have such amazingly beautiful blue eyes. Oh, you so, do too. Uh, yeah, yeah, but not great. as much as yours. So I'm going to take a few pictures, if I may, afterwards, and then show them, like close-up shots of, of, of you, uh, and show oh, them. In, in, of in, in the, yeah. Yes, with big eyes. <laughs> yeah. Not even wearing eyelashes today. Oh, you're, uh, so you're amazing. Thank yeah, you. uh, what, uh, also I, I saw in the script, um, they said, uh, or in the call sheet, uh, for the girls, uh, no makeup or a very light makeup, no yeah. fake lashes, so it's very natural. No fake nails. Man, I love having some nice nails, but yeah. I look like a little stubby fingers, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were bowling with a few porn people uh, like 10 days ago, and two of the girls, they had these fake nails, so they couldn't really bowl. They oh, had to, no. they had to bowl like this because they couldn't oh. <laughs> because of the nails. Oh, you know? Yeah, you, that's how you rip one off. Yeah. Man, I haven't been bowling in forever. We used to do that before COVID all the time. Yeah, we we still. I mean, uh, I don't know if I have your number. We can check that later. Uh, next time we go, I can uh, I can let you know. And oh, we can like porn yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, we used to do that and karaoke. We do like porn star karaoke. Yeah, I, week, I, that but. was never my thing, but the porn bowling was always my thing. Fun. I haven't been bowling in so long, but. Yeah. The we nails. are back. We are back bowling, and even though officially hey. there is a mask mandate, nobody gives a shit. So oh right, yeah. no one. <laughs> LA is so over this. Like yeah. we had it the worst too. Yeah. I say we had the worst. Yeah, it's much more relaxed in Florida, and nobody gives a shit. Even there. New York, I didn't have to wear my mask that much. So. Yeah. Is that where you came from? Is that where you spent the last whatever oh, weeks? Oh no, months? I was in New York a couple of weeks ago, just mm -hmm. visiting and. I didn't have to wear my mask at a lot of restaurants and stuff, but I yeah. had to show my vaccine card. So it's one or the other. I yeah. don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean, I find it so ridiculous. The other day I was with friends in Hollywood. We were shooting some content at their house. And then we went to a restaurant nearby. And there was this empty restaurant. Nobody sitting inside. Mm -hmm. And there was like, I don't know six feet or maybe ten feet from the door to the table yeah. we had to put on our mask and oh then once we sit at the table we can take them off i know the joke like, is the running joke i keep telling my friends from not like not in la is you can only get covid when you're standing up 
or when mm. you have to pee and go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only time you get COVID. So yeah, yeah, that's why you have to wear a mask. It's yeah. insane. I can't believe how far it's gone. Like, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We're living through it, and we can still... But actually, I'm, I'm, I'm from Europe, and I talk to my uh, friends and family in Europe every day, and, and it's much worse there. They are so really? Crazy. Yeah. Is it strict? Yeah. No, everything is closed still? Uh, not, not as much as it was, and it's also depending on the country. Like, Denmark just opened everything. They, they, they got oh, wow. rid, uh, rid of all their COVID restrictions. No mask anymore, no... Oh. You can party, everything. But so uh, other countries, they still have uh, strong restrictions. In Germany, where I'm from, it was not never that crazy, but like in Italy and in France, you were not allowed to leave your home unless you had like an emergency, like going to the doctor or this and that, and the police was patrolling. And, and uh, I remember I was in Germany last Christmas, kind of when this all mm-hmm. went down, and it was horrible. Everything was pretty closed. Yeah couldn't go out to eat like it was pretty bad in germany but maybe now it's better um honestly i can't remember too much but it was we flew into frankfurt and it was like an hour from then okay um i'd have to like think about it yeah but on the spot i can't remember it was i mean frankfurt frankfurt is very central so there's a lot around it wiesbaden is close it's a beautiful city wiesbaden and um, Offenbach and, and Darmstadt and all this. Uh, yeah, other. I can't remember. I wish I could, though. <laughs> I didn't know you were German. Uh, I, I almost guessed it. I almost got yeah. it. And I, I had a German boyfriend. I, I was should... born in Transylvania, <laughs> but to a German family, and I grew up in Germany. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And you speak German. Do you uh, speak anything else? Uh, German and English. That's it. More than I me. Mean, More than uh, me. I, I have some basic knowledge in a lot of languages I can say suck my dick in at least 10 languages uh, because I'm shot in 21 different countries around the world wow. and I, I can ask for for the way or order food or so in a bunch yeah, of languages but I feel that Spanish I'm pretty I can understand everything yeah. but Speaking, eh, not so much. Yeah, it's much easier. To but I want to shoot in Europe. I hear they're a little crazy, especially Germany. They get a little funky with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, Germany is not what it used to be. We, we were, uh, when I started shooting 25 years ago, it was like the, the, the capital of porn in Europe. Yeah. Now it's mainly uh, Prague and Budapest, in so Czech Republic oh, really? and Hungary, yeah. And Prague was all closed down. I remember that. Prague is a beautiful city. Yeah. I wanted to go so bad. Yeah. I'm check. Yeah. Maybe when COVID is done. I'm so tired. Where else is a good spot to shoot? I want to go to like Norway, Sweden. Do they shoot up there? I, I've uh, never been there and I've never heard of any shoots, but I'm sure they are some uh, like semi professional stuff. But the big companies, I've never heard them shooting there. Hmm. I'd still like to travel. I've never gotten to shoot out of the country, yeah. so yeah, I'm jealous. I, sh- I shot in 21 <laughs> different countries around the world. Wow. Yeah. 25 years. That's older than me. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 23, so. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. So I started in 96. Oh, my gosh. So I do porn for a long, long time. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. You must be pretty to, good then. And today I'm doing it with you, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Me too. It's the first time. We, finally, we did a we did a few soft pictures for like box cover shots and. She yeah. was touching me over my pants, and I was always <laughs> so excited. I wanted to start the scene. Are you know, and this <laughs> the height difference we have today. Yeah. Is, how tall are you? Um, in inches, I think it's six one, something like that. Yeah, I yeah. was gonna guess six one. I'm five one. Okay. So that that tells you, and I'm in flats, so it's gonna yeah. be a good. We look good in the pictures of that. I was, I was doing a, a, <laughs> like a this, scene this. Uh, just two days ago or three days ago uh, with a tall girl, and she's almost my height, but then she was wearing this really high heel, so mm-hmm. I was oh, looking up, bad. and I'm not used to that, you know? <laughs> I bet. You're 6'1". Oh. Mm. Well, you like shooting with shorties? I actually love... Shorties, I, yes! I, I love, the thing is, uh, I mean... There's beautiful girls in all sizes and shapes, but for for sex, I love 
smaller girls because you can just easily move yeah. them around and lift them up and same you know, with yeah. me i love it when they just are nice and big and they can hold you up you can do a lot more when you can hold someone yeah, just, yeah. Ooh, so fun so we're gonna have so much fun but yeah so <laughs> today we're shooting uh, uh for a taboo scene which means like incest seem even though Step of course we have to stuff, make sure stuff. that we are not blood related mm-hmm. and it's such a big fantasy about it in america i don't know why yeah i don't know what the thing is either maybe alabama or, no i'm just kidding I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to call it the south or anything they yeah. have the most incest <laughs> but i don't know what it is they're honestly i think they're a little weird but i've shot so many it's yeah. just another scene yeah yeah. It's like, yeah, people say, don't you feel weird when you pretend it's you? I said, actually, mm. I don't give a fuck. It's no, you don't care. Yeah. The script is the worst part, and then it's like any other thing. Yeah, we go through the dialogue, which is ridiculous. And as as more ridiculous, as actually, it's more fun, I think. I love the totally stupid uh, setups. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's really fun to just be. It's so stupid that you just like laugh your way through it, and it yeah. turns out to be great, and people love it. So yeah. <sighs> that's so weird, though. Yeah, last time for the same director we are shooting for Ricky Greenwood. Um, I was playing a, a cardinal from the Catholic Church, and we, oh, it was like a man. very, very dark, very. Ooh, uh, that's risky. Yeah. Today is more fun. <laughs> Good, yeah, that sounds yeah. a little... I've done some pretty crazy ones, too, that are about, like, real-life news that I think... Mm. I don't know if they were appropriate. They weren't taboo, but they had to do with actual people that were, like, going through a bunch of... I don't even want to say it because it's so insane, and that was probably worse, but it was, like, about a real-life news article thing, and it yeah. was, like, really bad, and they did, like, a taboo version of it. It was so... Oh, it was messed up, but <laughs> that one's just so bad. This one is like nothing. We're going to have so much fun. Okay, I'm uh, looking forward to shoot with you. I'm uh, Sometimes I shoot a, an interview after the scene and we talk about uh, how it was, but I'm not sure. It might be with Ricky, it always takes time. It might be dark and yeah. we are happy to leave the set, so probably yeah we'll see <laughs> yeah probably that's the only interview we do today but if fine. if we have time if there's still light we, we might talk after the scene okay perfect thank you so much mm-hmm. and um, i say goodbye just in case uh, and i don't see you but you see me on uh, youtube steve holmes born <laughs> bye bye Thank you. Oh, thank you. That wasn't so bad. Oh, you bugs.